What's going on YouTube? You know it's pretty rare in 2015 to be able to say you get to review a brand new camera. Well that's what I get to do tonight. Uh, first I'm just going to do a video here on uh, unboxing and first impressions and then later I'll actually talk about what it's like to shoot and use. And uh, here's your hint as to what camera it is. So let's take a look. Yes, that is a big box. That is a big camera. Anyways, <laughs> I need two hands to get it out of the box, but as you can see, it is obviously the Lomo Instant Wide Camera. So let me put the camera on a tripod and we'll get to opening this. All right, this camera is so big, I've had to really pull back on the tripod there to uh, hopefully give us enough room here to take a look at everything. So the first thing that's pretty cool is if you pre-ordered, you got a free uh, neck strap and a free light painter, which is basically some LEDs that you can light up to do light painting. That'll be pretty cool. It'll be fun to experiment with this separately. Um, it's a shame that the strap isn't included if you buy the camera because if there's no strap in this box, that'd be kind of ridiculous. I can't think of a camera that doesn't come with a strap. In any case, here's the box. You get to see the camera in there. Gigantic, gigantic camera. And there's some fancy uh, photos and stuff on the side. Uh, Lamography has always been good about making really pretty packaging. In the back. And I'm going to just cut it open here, I think. I think you get it out from the back. And while I'm cutting this, um, as you can see, I also do have the uh, previous Lomography Instant Camera, uh, the Lomo Instant. So it'll be great to compare the two. Uh, the Lomo Instant, the original Lomo Instant, is a decent camera. Uh, my main problem with it is the lens is actually too wide. Uh, it's so wide, you have to get super close to your subject, and the flash only lights up the middle. So if you want some normal instant photography shots, that's not a good camera. Now the hope is with uh, this new Lomo Instant Wide that they've improved their lens a lot. And uh, from what I see on these photos on the side, that's a lot nicer, a lot less vignetting than I got with the uh, other Lomo Instant. Oh, that's it. It falls out of the bottom. Are you kidding me? This is all box. This is this is really strong. This will hold up better than most boxes I've ever seen. That's impressive. Okay, and then uh, I guess we lift this plastic off and get the camera. Let's see. Pretty impressive. It's. Uh, I was so afraid with it uh, being Lomography that this would be really light and super plasticky. And even though it is a little uh, plasticky, it's uh, quite thick and it's quite heavy for a Lomography camera. That's a good sign. Cool. Uh, before I power this up, let's see what accessories and things they give you down here in the bottom. Okay, we've got a few things in here. We have the uh, gels, which I still have. Um, they gave me some gels with this. And I think this uses the same gels. These are basically just little pieces of colored plastic that you can slip in front of the flash to make your pictures different colors. Not really that useful. And it's an item that's easy to lose, and it, it takes a long time to put in and out. I guess it's nice to have them to play with, but I never found these very useful with the uh, other Lomo Instant Camera, but it's nice to give you some. Oh, also, they give you more uh, when you pre-order, so you get eight, eight gels in total instead of just the four. All right, and then we have instructions here, maybe, introducing your Lomo Instant Wide.
Okay, this seems like a quick start guide. I'll probably need this. There's the important, what the hell is Lomography stuff on the back. You get this with pretty much every Lomo camera. We get, we get a warranty that's only valid in Japan, so that's great. Looks like a bigger instruction manual down here. Yep, much bigger instruction manual. It's actually like a book. See, so of the reference information. Oh, this is in all the languages. So that's that's why this is so thick. Cool. We have the uh, infamous lens cap. This is something that they designed for this camera. It's quite cool. It's basically a remote shutter button, which is really cool if you want to get in the photo yourself. You don't have to do a 10 second timer. You can actually get in the photo and then click it. This is something that uh, you know a lot of digital cameras let you do. It's really cool to include it uh, with the camera and make it harder to lose because it's always on the camera or it's on the little lanyard. So we'll definitely have to test this out at some point. I'm going to go ahead and pull this now. That was really loose. I wonder if there's actually any batteries. Yep. Okay, there's a battery. All right. That's that. And then finally we have this. Um, I think this has like samples in it or tips. In the uh, original Lomo Instant, that's what this was. It had example photos. Oh, yeah, it does. And then you can store your photos in here. So this is already really exciting. You can see there's much less vignetting involved than what I was used to with the uh, other Lomo Instant. You can see there's still some vignetting, but trust me, from what I've done with the uh, other Lomo Instant, this is a massive improvement. And then there's, uh, there's tips and tricks on the bottom. Or rather, like suggestions, shooting suggestions. And it's just paper, I mean, this is just something Lomography likes to include to make it seem like there's a lot more stuff in the box, but well, it's fine. Great, uh, now we get to talk about the camera itself. Uh, what batteries do I need? Let's find out. Looks like four double A's, so I'll be right back. Okay, just slotting the batteries in now. Oh, it's already on. Something's happening. There's a little LED right here. I don't know if that's to tell you that your film is empty. This must be a flash charging light, I think. Oh, it's off. So now it's yelling at you to uh, put some film in, I guess. Let's take a look around the camera first. Uh, so you can see on the front, you can actually uh, manually focus, uh, zone focus. By that you mean you know there's no focusing aid in the viewfinder. You just gotta guess. It's got your classic one person, you know, farther out view of a person in the landscape. And the lens is so wide and the aperture is so small. It just that's probably good enough. We'll have to see how easy it is to focus. One thing is um, that ring feels a little cheap. It feels pretty plasticky. It's hard to turn this way, and it's easy to turn this way. What else? <laughs> this chrome bit here uh, in the photos, I always thought I made it look like uh, one of those Lomo Shmina or Smena cameras. Uh, look up uh, Smena 8M, S-M-E-N-A 8M, and you'll know exactly what I mean. Uh, there's a selfie mirror. There's the flash. These must be the audio auto exposure uh, light sensors. Uh, let me take a quick look through the viewfinder here. You can see there's actually some frame lines. I'm going to put that up to my eye and see what's going on. Okay, the frame lines are kind of weird. Um, they're not in focus when you put your eye up. 
they're in they're in that corner. So what I suspect is those frame lines help you correct for focusing close. So when you're close, you have to use those frame lines. And when you're focusing far, you have to use the whole viewfinder. Now I don't know that for sure, and I bet the manual will tell me, but uh, that's what I think at least. Um, the camera is on now. I'm trying to figure out which of these is the power, because it seems like the lights are on all the time. Oh, I just took a picture. Cool. So that's probably off. That's auto. That's bulb. That's one thirtieth of a second uh, manual. So I got some exposure compensation. Pretty much everything you need. So um, this is all I'm going to do in this first look. I'm going to go ahead and shoot with it this weekend at Thanksgiving. And I'll give a report uh, next week about if this is a decent instant camera. So thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening.